All right, welcome back to VOP uh, this morning. And uh, we have uh, James Adoyi taking us into the world of sports. Good morning, James. Good morning, Moses. Welcome to another episode. Oh, yes. And you look very, very sharp as well. Thank always. you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, um, you look the, sporty too. Thank you very much. Um, in the world of sports, we'll start with um, our Falcons, who are still in um, Australia. Um, the FIFA Pro Body has announced that it will assist Super Falcons players in getting their standing bonus payments and camp allowances and other expenses from the NFF. Okay. Um, FIFA Pro disclosed this statement in a, in a Twitter, on their Twitter and on, on Twitter that um, they will be assisting the, body, the Falcons in getting all their animations from the bonuses to the match allowances that, that has been won for by NFF. Um, and we remember prior to the kickoff where the coach, the Super Falcons coach, Randy Walden, came out to say in an interview that the NFF is owing some of the players 14 month salary. And then um, he also mentioned that um, he also accused the NFF of misappropriation of $960,000 that was disbursed by FIFA to all teams that qualify for the 2023 World Cup. That, it, that the players, most of the players and most of the bodies didn't get the funds. And then um, after the um, Falcons exited the competition on Monday, after they lost to um, England on, on, on penalties, the, um, the FIFA Pro has described the situation as um, regrettable, regrettable that the players are no longer in the competition. But they said they will make sure that NFF grants them all what is due to them. Mm -hmm. And I think um, this is actually a good one, at least. They voice, they voiced out and finally they are getting it from for international bodies. But for the NFL, this is actually a very bad, bad one for that we have others coming into international bodies coming, coming to interfere with how you treat your players. your athletes. Yeah, that is so bad. It's so bad. And I think um, for the FIFA, for FIFA people to actually consider um, the Falcons with what they're going on currently to so say okay, we want to assist them. I think that's a very very good one, and I will wait for results. And the misappropriation of it's actually a lot, nine hundred sixty thousand dollars. Wow, that's, that's a lot of money. That's that's a lot, and that just spells corruption all over. <laughs> and minus that, you still owe players fourteen months salary. That's a year and two months. So how have they been surviving? <laughs> Thank God, some of them are playing for good clubs and they earn good money from their foreign clubs. And we must make some of them in local leagues or different leagues they play in. But I think they get money from there and. They augment with that. Yeah, yeah. They, they are not really bothered about what the... Well, they are yeah. bothered because if, if, if they are making it an issue now, then they are bothered. I think most of the players didn't even come out to talk to us. Nobody found out this was going on until, not until the coach came out around the world when, before mm. the competition and came out in an interview and said about... The, spoke I think about the players wanted to concentrate on the tournament and, mm. uh, you know, Make Nigerians proud yes, that before be, before coming to talk about how much they are being owed. Niger but, uh, Nigerians might come for them that okay, these players are also after money, after money. So. Well, they have they have uh, they've done they've done well they've in done as well. much as they they crashed out at the round of sixteen. But uh, they have done well. Yeah, and, it's, it's, uh, it's improvements. We are yes, making progress. Yes. So I think with this spirit, they'll come back stronger, and we will for, we will for the next competition, be it the Afcon or. Or the World Cup, the right. okay. um, So moving on to a foreign story, we have um, Hurricane still on this Hurricane matter. Bayern Munich now have submitted their fourth bid for the um, England striker, and um, after placing three bids before, they have been rejected by Tottenham. Tottenham rejected um, Tottenham rejected eighty six million pounds, and now Bayern are preparing for 90, 95 million pounds for him this time after rejecting for eighty six. So Bayern now preparing to come back stronger and say, okay, we want to go with 86, um, 96, 95 this time. So I don't know what stuff him actually with for. Grab this offer and move on. Harry Kane is already 30 years old. He has just like, let's say, four, five good years. I don't know, okay, four, let's say four, five good years in, in him as a good striker. And that money is actually a lot, 95 million pounds. Just grant the player what he wants. The player wants to leave and he wants to go out and win trophies. So I just think... um. If he should, Abion, be he should be allowed to go, I think he has been patient with them over time. Right? He has, he has, he has, he, 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 I think his first time he, he, he said he wanted to leave the club was around when he was 26, 25. Mm. So over five years, they have been holding this player all stage. Man City wanted to buy him before they went for um, Erring Island. Uh, Man City, um, Tottenham did the same thing and anything and then scatter and, they, and destroyed, they scattered the deal before Man City moved on to somebody else and they got Alan. 
Now, um, Bayern now are in the chase now, and I think Bayern are very serious for them to go come back and come back four times for a particular player. With that, same, with that, with that, with how uh, three cheers, the amount is, is they don't, they're not bothered and they're still saying, okay, we want to buy him. I think Tottenham should just get this money and just let the player go, let him move on. He has served them over time. And um, we still have one story on um, England forward Lauren James. You know, there was an incident between her and um, our Super Falcon player, Alozier, Mich Michelle Alozier, mm. in the second half of the match where she stamped on. The, on the feet on her back when she was on the floor so um alozia came out to urge fans to stop giving the matter serious issue like she didn't give it to your contradiction that it's not what it is just she was lost there she believed that um lauren james was lost in the condition that's, of the match because the pressure was more the uh, pressure was much and everything and and um, after um alozia tweeted on her twitter handle um lauren also replied to, said all love and respect to you i'm sorry for what happened and also to our England teammates and fans, she apologized and they all made they made peace. So that yes, is that's that's a that's a picture of it. That's the picture of yeah, the was, uh, And she was smiling. Everybody was why, why is this girl smiling? I get it stamped on. <laughs> but it just shows how how, how serious the, two, the the teams were and she knows what it what what she knows that experience when you're in the game and but you're not in the game. She was like locked all through the match and out of desperation or let me say frustration. She just did that and she got recorded and left the game. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Uh, well, I can see uh, we are playing on the world stage. The, this yeah. game is uh, one of passion, uh, insurmountable emotions, and you know moments. You know a, a lot of other things there. Uh, Alozier was um, being a very good sportsman there. Yes, yes. And, she know, understood the the, the, the the situation was so bad that I think Nigerians were actually going for Lauren James, so she had yes. to even lock her comment section on social media because <laughs> it was not going to be easy. I think Nigerians were taking out the frustration of going out of the competition on her. On her. <laughs> so uh, it's actually good. I think um, now they've come out to settle publicly to the tweet, the stress on, and uh, the body on her. So all right. That, that'll be all on Sparks. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, J James Adoyi. Uh, I think it's X now. It's no longer Twitter. It's X. Formerly Twitter. New Nigerians are not used to new things. <laughs> we are used <laughs> to the Twitter. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll get used to it. We'll yeah, get soon, used to it. Soon. It's X. So that's what that's that's what Elon Musk calls it. So we don't have a choice but to call it X. That doesn't even sound. Uh, I'm going on X to nah, nah, you know nah, to nah. X you. The first day I noticed the Should we say X you or Twix? <laughs> I'm going to it's going to be tweet at you. I'm going to tweet forever. It's going to tweet forever. Nobody's <laughs> going to agree to that. <laughs> right. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's the show for today. I must say a very big thank you to everyone that made this possible, uh, to the engineers and the crew. Uh, we are saying thank you for staying with us. Uh, to our listeners, we'd like you to subscribe. Follow us on YouTube. It's Voice of the People TV up on YouTube, and we are here for you. Right here, you have more than a voice, of course. I am Moses Humphrey. Have a beautiful day.